All right, hey everybody. I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial. I'd gotten some questions about, um, in Piano Tech 8, they added the ability to, to use Piano Tech as an effect. Um, and probably my favorite application of that is to take an old piano, an old sample library, or maybe um, the built-in sounds on a digital piano and route them through Piano Tech to breathe some life into it. Um, so um, in Keyscape, there's this cool piano. There's a bunch of cool pianos in Keyscape, but there's this uh, Yamaha C7 that's really interesting. Um, it's got some cool character to it. It's got this really old pre-war Steinway felt on it, on these custom hammers, and just an interesting sounding piano, but it also sounds dead. And what I mean by that is if I did something like this, that doesn't sound like a piano. That sounds like someone recorded a piano and then cleaned it up, um, which is fine. Maybe that's what you want. Um, but let's use Piano Tech to do what Piano Tech does best and make it feel like we're actually playing a real piano. So um, let's load in. What we're going to do um, is have a separate instrument track um, because we want to send MIDI data to it too. So it has to be an instrument track. Um, and I'll demonstrate this in Bitwig, but this works in just about every DAW, except for Studio One, um, at least at the time of this recording. If you know differently, uh, feel free to comment, but it's my understanding Studio One doesn't have a way to route audio into Piano Tech yet. So anyway, in Bitwig, let's add a new Piano Tech 8 piano here. Um, pick any piano for it is fine. Uh, this works. Um, we'll just do the Steinway Classical. And then we're going to add an audio receiver here in front of that so that we can send it both audio and MIDI data, as I mentioned. We'll side chain in Keyscape. Now, um, I'm gonna mute Piano Tech just for a minute so we can, that's Keyscape. You hear the difference? Those overtones are running out where they don't hear. So it's coming to life coming alive a little bit here. Um, we're still missing some functionality though. This, I think this is where most people stop when they um, use piano tech as an effect. And you can you can get this a little bit more realistic. So um, let me bring up a spectrum analyzer here so you can see what's going on. Um, right now, if I were playing a real piano and I silent key this D, um, I would expect that if I hit the D below it, this D should ring out. But it doesn't do that. I just hear all the damped overtones uh, ringing out like they would normally ring out. If all the dampers were down. And the damper should not be down. This D should be up right now. So let's send MIDI to Piano Tech. But then we have another problem. Because now if we're sending MIDI to Piano Tech, then... It just sounds like we're playing two pianos. So we need to take this velocity curve and lower this all the way down to zero across the board. And that will transform all incoming note on messages to velocity zero, which means that hammer that normally comes up and hits the strings will stay down. But the damper that sits on top of the strings will lift up and that string can kind of resonate as it, as it would on a real piano. So now if we silent key this D, so the damper's up, you can hear it ringing out. And you can see those overtones right here. And also on a real piano, you'd expect that if you hit, say, the fifth above that, then you would expect to hear... So if I hit this A, you can hear this A ringing out because it's a common overtone. And this string is generating that overtone. So it's super cool. It's really realistic. Um, and that's kind of an example in isolation, but let's see how it sounds in context of some actual playing. Here it is without piano tech. So 
it's sounding better, but that's a lot of overlapping resonances. So uh, the last thing that we can do here to clean this up a little bit, um, and let me know if you have better ideas here. I use a plugin from Waves called uh, Track Spacer. And what that will do, let's put this before the Spectrum Analyzer, is allow us to um, analyze the audio that's coming out of Keyscape, look at that, look at 32 bands of that, and apply an inverse EQ to piano text. So essentially, it's going to let us duck whatever frequencies happen to be coming in so that we can carve out room so that the resonances that were captured during the sampling process on Keyscape um, can kind of have their own space. And then if there's anything missing, Piano Tech will kind of fill in those gaps. So let's uh, see how this sounds here. Oh, I need to sidechain Keyscape into this. There we go. And we can make this a little more here. Here it is without piano tech. piano tech just sounds more alive Anyway, you get the gist. I hope that helps.